Hello and welcome to my tutorial to customize Zazzle products. So you've been to my lovely shop and you've had a look around and you didn't quite want it how it was and you wanted to change things around. So um, basically, let's just pick that one. So we'll pick that one and you just wanted to sort of change maybe the background color, add some text or whatever. Um, I just gave all these as examples. So you go into the screen and then you can have a look at the details. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, you click on the orange customize button and then um, I forgot to tell you that you can also um, have a look at the different views. If you just hover the mouse over, you can just get to see what it looks like in different ways and so on and so forth. Um, so basically, you don't quite like it as it is. It's all right, but you want to change it. So, and all those things are there for you to do it. Um, you click on design. So, um, here you can see the image that show that you didn't see on the actual product. Um, that's the full image there. And you want to maybe make the image a bit smaller. You click on the little minus button and then can you see that it's got the little squares you can just drag it it does it all in proportion so you don't need to worry about having an elongated face or whatever and basically it looks all right there but it just doesn't look good there change it to vertical see that drop down there and that looks a lot better doesn't it so um you can also make sure that the image is centered horizontally because it might look central to you but chances are it won't be that looks all right. Ready with a bit of space at the bottom for you to put some text. Um, you also might want to change some of the background color and add your gamer emblem on the beret. So, um, what do we do now? Basically, um, you go into, to change the background, go into edit, background, and then you have all these wonderful colors. That's the one that I picked make sure that you check um, what the hex number is. I tend to write it down on a piece of paper because I get mixed up after a while. And yes, I know it's not surprising, but it's very easy to do that. And you end up getting confused which one you did. So let's just try it out on another color. And that looks awful. Let's change it quickly. Okay, go back, change it. Um, let's go for maybe black. Looks very striking. Um, completely changes the look of the image, doesn't it? I mean, basically, it's quite different to how you started. Already some big changes here. Um, now, what you need to be doing is adding some words. So I'll just add something like, say, sassy girl gamer. Um, and just type what it, whatever you want. And then hit OK. And there you have it. It looks a bit naff at the moment because it's a default size and it's a default font and it's going to be in white as a default as well. So did you see what I just clicked? I clicked on this squiggly F and then you can see all the different fonts. If you clicked on see all, you'll see all of them. And then anything that you've looked around, it always comes up in recently used. Um, I tried it out in freehand loose just now and yeah, it looks all right. I mean, you could go, there's loads of whole grungy fonts and different other fonts or whatever. You could just scroll down. There's tons and tons. Um, say, for example, if you thought, okay, I'll try another one. So say that one. Try it out. And it's not quite as nice as you thought. That's why it's good to just try them out. Recently used, there's your freehand loose that you had before. So um, the size, bit big. Um, you also need to make sure that it's within a certain border. You can change the text whenever you like. Um, so go back, make sure that that bit's clicked. Change the font size. You can either do it manually. When you click on it, it does go to design, by the way. Um, or you can just click on the tab. But sometimes it can get a bit mixed up. Um, but anyway, so um, that bit selected the, um, the image. That other bit selected the font. So you can either drop it down by going plus and minus on the little thing, or you can actually change the number itself. Um, as you can just see, I just did it that way. Um, 
the other thing is also, you see that dotted line? You don't really want to be going over that, otherwise it just won't print properly. It's just not very nice. And you can see that it really doesn't look good, does it? So um, all those little bits are explained there. You can click on the what is that bit. Go back to the design. You want to move it around. You can either use these arrow buttons to shift it up and down. Um, it does tend to do it in certain increments, so it, you might want to finally adjust that. Make sure that you arrange center horizontally. Make, see, that little bit makes a big difference. Okay, then, um, if you change the center vertically, you'll just make sure that it's right slap bang in the middle that way. So um, it might, you know, depending on what you're customizing. So that's what it looks like now. Uh, don't know if I like the white. So you go there, see that bit there? All the font colors come down because you did have this font selected. You can choose pinky colors or whatever if you wanted. It, that doesn't really stand up very well. Um, so I would go back, change it. Kind of looks cool with the orange, um, sort of matches her hair, gives it an overall nice look. Um, see, completely changed how it was before. Um, the other thing is, you want to put your little gamer emblem. So, um, go to add images. In my case, because I'm signed in, I've got my whole library of images here, as you can see, they're all there. Um, but in your case, you'd go to my computer, upload from wherever you've got your image, and then press OK, and it comes, it uploads. I did that for mine. Slap bang on her face. Doesn't she look attractive? So we need to change the, um, image size so go to design see it's already selected squeeze down the little corner takes a little while sometimes with the blue bar for it to load um, don't get impatient otherwise the site starts to get really annoyed um, move it up there see what it looks like mm, bit big make it a bit smaller let's see what that looks like you can move it along that way if you want to using the arrow keys um, personally, I, pr I prefer to actually move it around myself. Um, I'm thinking of making it just a little bit smaller. Move it up. And, yep, there you go. It's loaded. Let's have a look. Nice. Maybe I would have gone for a different font, but you can see what I'm talking about. It looks kind of cool. Um, it does save things. And then, say, for example, we go for T-shirts. Um, you've seen that, looks really sweet, little toddler t-shirt, you can see what it looks like on the model view, expand it, can you see where, you know, sometimes it's just too small, so you see that little um, magnifying glass thing on the top right, you can click that. Um, click on the design, you can see what it is, but you can't do anything until you customise it. So, customise, the edit screen comes up, you can see the design, you can see the image and also the um, the layer with the the writing as well, the text. You can change the text to whatever you like. Um, and also with the um, image, you can change the size if you want to, make it smaller, bigger. Always good to make sure you center it horizontally so you know it's right in the middle, unless of course you want to have it off center. But that's all your choice you can do whatever you like um, and then it does tend to save as you go along so if you're signed in it means that you can go back to it and finish it off um, if you haven't got time to do it at that one sitting um, go back have a look at the product um, then make sure you see here you've got choose your style and color you can change the colors Word of warning, sometimes when you change the t-shirt colour, it just doesn't look as good. Um, looks all right on grey. It just really depends on the actual design. Um, in this case, it looks really sweet on the white t-shirt anyway, and it's for a little toddler, so that's cool. Um, then, you have to note, see that there's all sorts of, you can't believe how many different styles there are. You click on that, you can preview it with the design already on there. These also come in different colours as well, so don't forget that. But you can see that they're there for boys, girls, babies, you name it, it's all there. Um, you know, 
they, they tend to show them that in the default sort of wide but you can see it either on that top um, but I prefer it on this one um, let's try it out on black actually so go back click done give it a little while it changes to the black t-shirt um, it's also available in other colors as you can see um, but I'm going to show you what it's like on the black as you can see the font has disappeared because it was in black so customize it then make sure you select the text change the color I'll go for the simple the usual orange um, you can change the font to so say for example change it to hobo now that's doing that way it's okay um, and the other thing you can do is you can add stuff on the back if you want to so you know you could add like say for example your Twitter name and then you know type that bit in if you want to um, you could also hang on let's just you could also put follow me because that's kind of funny follow me um, and then add your Twitter see there you go that's quite cool isn't it you can see what it looks like on the design as well you can move it up if you want to just have a look and just keep flipping backwards and forwards to see which you prefer um, if you did that click on that very top button it goes to the very very top of the space that you've got and then you can move it down incrementally if you want to um, see what it looks like on the actual product maybe you want to drop it down a little bit more um, and then have a look there you go see what it looks like on the model you can always change the model if you don't like the geezer but anyway he's there he looks all right um, and then you've got the original iPorn noobs with the smiley face um, have a look at it there you go looks all right you could change the image make it smaller make the font bigger it's all up to you so then we move, say for example, if we went for, yes, the little people one. Got something here which is like for a baby shower invitation. We've spawned a new b-boy gamer. Thought it was quite sweet for gamer parents. And on the reverse side, it's got all the text that you need. So obviously your child is not going to be called Game Dominic Gamester. I meant to actually write Gamester, but there you go. Um, you can click on that's got the basic ones. You can see that um, you can change every single line for whatever you wanted. Um, so in this case, let's say you want to change his name, change it here, um, click on change um, text, and it comes up with the box. Change it to, I don't know, what's his name? Okay, Jack Spencer, for example, just as a random name. Hit OK. And there you have it the name has changed and you can do the same for all the other bits you can change the font color to anything you like um, you can change the font if you want to you know I always like black cherry moon because somehow it just looks really nice for kiddie type stuff as well as other things bit of a cheeky font you can change it to that if you want to but I prefer the original so um, what's the other thing you can do when you're um, doing that, you can also um, change the background color. Um, go there, see background. I had that color. You can change it to, I don't know, you see you've got the hex numbers as well. You can change it to say, I don't know, a light gray. Looks a bit somber for such a celebratory thing. I thought the light color looked nicer, but you know, you can do whatever you like. You can have two different colors on either side if you want to. On that one you can see that there's only one bit there the newbie word is the only bit that's an image the rest you can write whatever you like you can change it do whatever so basically there you have all the things you need to customize Zazzle products well I hope it was helpful for you and if you've got any questions please ask and thank you for watching